Hi, I'm Evan, coming at you from Marvel's Kids Museum with your daily dose of play. Today I'm in C-shapes and I think I want to try a magic trick. I'm going to see if I can move this ball using nothing but my mind. Let's see if I can do it. You gotta concentrate really hard and then it'll start to move. You have to hold that concentration and keep going. Uh. <sighs> wow, that was really difficult. But it wasn't actually magic. It was in fact magnets. So today we're gonna talk about magnets. Now a magnet is a rock or a metal that attracts other metals. Now you might have heard of the word magnetic. Now if something is magnetic, it is attracted to magnets. So some metals that are attracted to magnets are iron and steel and some things like aluminum are not attracted. So they're not magnetic, they are non-magnetic. You might have seen magnets around your own home in the form of refrigerator magnets or even toys. Lots of train sets use magnets to play around with. We have some at the museum. Magnets like this stick to the refrigerator because refrigerators are made of steel, which means they're magnetic, just like this. Now you might be asking, how am I supposed to figure out if something is magnetic? Well, all you'll need is a magnet. So let's do a couple tests. Let's see if this wooden block is magnetic. No, it's not. How about this Q-tip? Let's see if that's magnetic. No, it's not. What about these paper clips? Let's see. Whoa, that is 100% magnetic. Let's see what out of this group of items is magnetic. All right, everything except for the Q-tips, we've got some nails and paper clips in here. So you can go around your house and touch your magnet to different things, and if it sticks, it's magnetic. If you've ever played with a compass, you'll know that they point due north. But how does the magnet know which way is north? It doesn't, it's actually just a magnetic piece of metal. The Earth itself is a gigantic magnet. That's because the core of the Earth is made of molten iron, which we learned earlier is a magnetic metal. So that makes the entire Earth one giant magnet. And so these little tiny magnetic pieces of metal can actually read where the North Pole is. Now we can mess that up actually if we bring another magnet in closer to it. Let's see what happens. We can actually make the compass go wherever we want it to because this magnet's much closer. But when we pull this magnet away, it points back north. You can go through your house and see what items might be magnetic. Like, what about a spoon? Do we think that's magnetic? Yep, it is. So you might be wondering if magnetism works through objects like water or glass. Well, we can test that right now. We take this magnet and put it up to this jar, which is filled with iron shavings. We can see that the magnet is pulling those shavings through water and through glass. But if we pull the magnet far enough away, they fall away. So go for a magnet hunt around your house and see what's magnetic. You might be surprised. Be sure to send pictures and videos of the magnet play you guys have and send them in to us at Marvel's Kids Museum on social media. See you next time.